Hi, my name is Leanne. My name is Keenan. And we're from SHIP, which stands for Sexual Health Advocate for Education. And today we're going to be talking about the Oral Dam and a couple of commonly asked questions that people have about the Oral Dam. Alright, so we will start off with what is an Oral Dam? Look, look at this. This is an Oral Dam. So the first step to using an Oral Dam is no, it's not opening a package. It is asking for consent. And in Missouri, you are not legally allowed to give consent if you are under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Second step. Uh, the second step is to uh, check for tampering and also check for the expiration date. Uh, with this, uh, pretty much all you gotta do is take the uh, uh, oral dam out and then hold up the light so you can kind of see uh, if there's any holes in it. If not, you're probably good to go. Um, and then the uh, second step uh, that I was talking about is just to check for the expiration date, which is right here on the back. Uh, this one expires in 2016, so you get plenty of time to use that one. And so when you're using an oral dam, um, you use it during oral sex to protect you and your partner from STI transmission. And you either use it during vaginal oral sex or anal oral sex. So what you do is you put lube on the surface that is receiving oral sex. And once you put your lube on your partner, you bring out the oral dam, <clears throat> put it over, and then perform oral sex. Okay, so one question that people have is um, what would you do if you don't have an oral dam around? Um, uh, I know for one thing that you can do is you can go to some of the resources on campus. Um, you have the Student Center, you have the Women's Resource Center, you have the LGBTQ, LGBTQ uh, Resource Center, um, and then you also uh, can go to five rest halls um, around campus. Okay, so say I'm just flat out of time, like this has to happen now, uh, I don't have an oral dam on me, what do I do? Well, that person could be like, oh hey, I have a female condom or I have a male condom. So you use either barrier method, you cut off the ends of the condom and there you have it. You have an oral dam all made by you, DIY. And if you have no condoms or oral dams whatsoever on your house, you actually have another option. Uh, there's the uh, non-porous pla uh, plastic wrap that you can use. Um, uh, make sure that it's not microwavable, uh, just because if it has pores in it, then uh, fluids can transfer through, and you don't want that because there's a possibility of getting an STI from that. Um, so that is your little overview of the oral dam, a wonderful thing that it is. Um, be sure to check out our lovely website. So we have an S Health website. S stands for Sexual Health, not Student Health, by the way. And it's shealth.missouri.edu. You can go check it out. There are pretty pictures and a box to ask questions in and so just general information mm -hmm. in there and then there's also the uh, student health uh, center which is just studenthealth.missouri.edu and if you are interested in setting up a program to learn more about it or to have a presentation go on in the rest hall then you can just click the programs tab and sign up there there's also just other good information to have on that website like the uh, sex word of the day uh, M-I-Z-G-Y-T. And there's also some shape bios in case you wanted to read information about us. And if you got inspired enough to become a peer like us, you can also apply to become a shape peer. And that about covers it. Thanks for watching.